Now that you've been introduced to the XML HTTP request object, there are two properties you should get to know about this object, this object supports. The first is the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object. The ready state property tells you what's going on with the XML HTTP request object as it's downloading data. So we're going to be using this property, the ready state property, in our AJAX enabled web applications. As you can see here, this is an in index.html example, XML HTTP request object dot ready state. This is the ready state property. And in this case, we're insisting that the value of the ready state property be four before continuing. So why is that? Let's take a look at the possible values of the XML HTTP request object's ready state property at this time. Here are the possible values. You can have a value of zero means that the XML HTTP request object has not been initialized, is not ready for, for being used, not ready for work. And so if the ready state property is zero, you're not going to be able to get any work out of the XML HTTP request object. On the other hand, if it's been properly initialized and the ready state property is a value of one, that means that the XML HTTP request object is loading the data that you've requested from the server. It means loading the data that you've requested from the server if the ready state property has a value of one. If the ready state value property is value of two, that means your data has been loaded. The requested data that you've acquired of the server has been loaded and it's not yet complete, but it has been loaded and it is processing is almost finished. If the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object is value of three, that means that the, the XML HTTP request object in, is in a so-called interactive state, which means that the data is being downloaded, but you can still interact with it and ask it what, what types of what um, the ready state property is. So the interactive stage just means that the data is not yet been downloaded, is in the process of being downloaded, but you can still interact with the XML HTTP request object. The ready state value of four is the one that we're going to be using, going to be looking for. That means that the download is complete. Now remember that AJAX stands for asynchronous JavaScript and XML. The asynchronous part means that we are going to use the XML HTTP request object to ask servers to send data to us, and we're going to wait until that data is complete, but not pause the browser. So this is the way you check whether or not the data is, re is complete. Use the XML XML HTTP request objects ready state property and when that property holds a value of four that means the asynchronous download of your data is complete. So that introduces the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object and you've just seen how to create those objects and this is the first of the two properties we're going to be using the ready state property and we're going to be looking always for a value of four to determine when our downloads are complete from the server. Now, these you see here, they can have other values such as one, which means the, the data is being loaded from the server, downloaded from the server, but that's, and that will mean that we're not yet quite ready, and so we're going to require that the XML HTTP request object's ready state property hold a value of four before proceeding. So you should be introduced to the ready state property. And next we'll talk about, this, about the status property of the XML HTTP request object. Getting to know this object, you need to know how to work with it. And then after we talk about these two properties, we'll discuss how to connect to and communicate with the server.